is SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, prevalent in lupus patients. Let's talk about this. So SIBO isn't caused by only one specific thing. It can be caused by many different things or multiple things working together. So uh, common causes for SIBO are uh, slowing of the gut, gut motility issues due to systemic autoimmune diseases like Sjogren's, like lupus, like rheumatoid arthritis, like scleroderma. Um, other things include uh, overuse of antibiotics or um, medication use like narcotics, which, which can slow down the gut and then cause uh, SIBO issues. SIBO is a relatively new term in the medical world. Um, it's been being treated by the naturopathic scene for quite a while, but it's kind of just coming into westernized medicine and they're just trying, starting to find antibiotics that can target this part of the body and work for it. Those antibiotics are rifaximin and neomycin. Um, is it prevalent in lupus patients? Um, I think that it kind of just depends on the lupus patient. I know that I was first diagnosed with IBS at the age of like 21, 22, when I was having these gut motility issues and I was only diagnosed with SIBO uh, two years ago. So I was dealing with IBS like symptoms for like over a decade, like 12 to 13 years before I got my SIBO diagnosis. But when I look back at all of the symptoms that I've had along the way, I believe that I've had SIBO, not IBS since the very beginning. So, um, that's when I also started having my Sjogren's, um, symptoms. And so I think that my Sjogren's and lupus, uh, just kind of like are hand in hand with my SIBO. When my Sjogren's and lupus flares up, my gut is affected. And as a result, my SIBO kicks up. So that's my take on it.